Hi, I'm Peter, the Simon developer, and I want to show you the current status of the new and upcoming ATSBI plugin. With this plugin, Simon is supposed to read applications much in the same way as a user would. So Simon will try to find buttons and menu items and basically everything the user normally interacts with and automatically create vocabulary, grammar and commands to control those applications. So if you can see the vocabulary is currently empty, as is the grammar and the commands. This is the only active scenario and it's basically empty except for one thing and this is the ATSBI plugin uh, that is loaded and the option to automatically create vocabulary and grammar is activated. So let's have a look at what this does. If I move Simon over here and start for example gedit, we can see that uh, Simon analyzes the window and finds commands like open, save, what was in the menu file, edit, view and so on and automatically builds the vocabulary around it. If we open, for example, the help menu, we can see that uh, two new sub-entries appear in the vocabulary, which correspond to the newly uh, displayed uh, elements on screen. So you can see this is quite dynamic. Uh, if we, for example, switch away from gedit by selecting the Simon menu, we can see that the vocabulary disappears altogether. So um, basically, Simon will only listen for commands for the currently active window which is very similar to uh, what you're used to with, uh, with keyboard and mouse interaction. This is done to ensure quite high recognition rates by only limiting the amount of available commands to a minimum. Uh, if you look at the grammar, we can also see that the same stuff happens here. So if we select gedit, uh, we can see the automatically created grammar allowing sentences like file, edit, view, and so on and um, as the commands should be auto-generated as well, we can have a look at, uh, at the system in practice. I'm just gonna type something here to make it more interesting. Help. Documents. Close all. Cancel. New. Documents. Previous document. Documents. Close all. Close without saving. New. Okay, uh, we can see that um, this does indeed kind of work. This is of course very much a work in progress and it's not entirely stable and support for a lot of UI elements is still missing. But as you can see, the basic uh, system works quite well. Um, some of you might wonder why as a KDE developer I presented this new feature with gedit. And that's because uh, the ATSBI integration needs some support from the application but not from the application itself, but from the uh, toolkit that is used to build this application. So gedit as a GNOME application was built with GTK. And the GTK has already pretty good support for ATSBI2, whereas Qt support is still in development. In Qt, this is done through the Qt accessibility bridge, which I'll show now. Let's, for example, start a write. For KWrite, for example, the focus switching is not yet working, as you can see. But at least a couple of commands are already exported. For example, this toolbar items here. The menu, on the other hand, is not yet uh, exported. But we can try real quick if uh, the exported um, options work. Let's try that. Quit. Yeah. This is the current state of the ATSBI plugin. I'm, of course, still working on this. And as I said before, the ATSBI support in Qt and GTK is also a work in progress. But as you can see, it actually works quite well already. And I hope to have this in shape and done for the next version of Simon. If you do try it out with the current development version of Simon, 
please let me now uh, know if everything works or you run into trouble or anything so I can fix it. Thanks.